Hey guys, we had another problem sent in today. And in this problem, we have a set X that contains natural numbers or non-negative integers such that these integers are less than or equal to 10. And then we also have this set Y which contains non-negative integers such that there exists an integer K where N is equal to K squared. So basically what this means is that Y contains the squares of integers. And the person who sent in this problem wants us to find x union y and x intersect y. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to write out the elements of x in a roster form. So we can say that x contains all of the elements in where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And the reason why I have all these numbers is because this set contains all of the natural numbers that are less than or equal to 10. Natural numbers are non-negative integers. Therefore, we go from 0 to 10. And as we said before, y contains the set of all of these squares of integers. And there's no way that I can write all of these out because there is an infinite amount of squares. So let's just list a few. So we can just pick any integer, k, and we can square it and then that number would be in the set of y. For example, negative 1 squared is in the set and negative 2 squared or 0 squared or 1 squared and 2 squared and so on and so on. So now we have an idea of what both of these sets contain. So x union y contains all of the elements that both x and y contain. So if we take an integer k the contribution from x will just be all of these integers that are less than or equal to 10 and greater than or equal to 0. Then we also have to consider the contribution from y, and those are just the squares of any integer. So I can say, or this set contains all of the integers k squared. So basically what I just did is I just combined these two criteria from these individual sets x and y and threw, threw them into a single set. And I just defined it as having an integer k and then satisfying the criteria for all of the x elements and then saying, or we also have these other elements that are coming from this set y, which is just any integer squared. So that's why I have this k squared right there. So let's move on to this next one right here. Now we want to find the intersect of these two sets, meaning which elements do these two sets have in common? Well, the limiting factor is going to be the elements of set X. So we can just look through the set and just pick out which elements would also be in Y, meaning that all we have to do is just pick out the squares. So zero squared is zero, so this guy should also be in Y. One squared is one, we got this guy. Two squared is four, so we got this guy. There's no squares that, there's no integer squares that will give us two and three. So what other squares do we have? The other one is 9, which can be 3 squared. So we can say that the set x intersect y contains the elements 0, 1, 4, and 9, because these elements are shared among sets x and y. And just to point this out, because I know the submitter of this question was a little confused on this, but the notation that I used in this answer is what's called set builder notation. And this just follows the general form of showing where these elements are coming from, which domain we're, we're sampling from, and then listing the criteria that must be met. Now this notation that I have right here is what's called roster notation. And in roster notation all we do is specifically list out each element that is in the set. Now we couldn't have done roster notation for this guy right here because, well, it would contain an infinite amount of numbers. So we've actually got another part to this problem, and that is to find a set Z such that Z is a subset of X, and Z intersect Y is the empty set. So we have two criteria that we need to satisfy in picking a Z that will work, and that is Z must be a subset of X, meaning that all elements in Z must also be 
in X. And then this last criteria, this part right here, which states that Z intersect Y is the empty set, just means that no elements in Z can be in Y. So all we have to do for Z is just pick an element or a group of elements that is contained in X but not in Y. And that can be the set of any numbers that is not a square and is also greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 10. So let me write this out like this. N and the natural numbers such that there does not exist an integer k n is equal to k squared and zero is less than or equal to n and which is less than or equal to 10. So z can be any set that contains elements that satisfy these criteria that I just spelled out right here. So for the sake of example, we'll just take z to be three. The set that only contains three as an element. I mean, it could also be the set that contains three and five. But you'll see that this number three fits the criteria up here to be in the set of X, and it doesn't fit the criteria here to be in Y which means that Z is a subset of X and Z intersect Y is the empty set. And that's true for both of these cases. And you can even make up your own set for Z. Just make sure that they satisfy these criteria. So uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys later.